Hey, 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 fragrance friends and lovers. How you doing today? What are you wearing? What is your scent of the day? I, you know, discontinued fragrance lover or gentlemen who love the classics, or maybe you're on the hunt for a cheapy or a cheapy, something that was a cheapy that's still under the radar. It still isn't terribly expensive. It's not like the eBay. People on eBay are charging 150, 200 odd dollars or more uh, for this fragrance. So this one's still a bit under the radar. Uh, was a beautiful cheapy was out there for 30 odd dollars it's not not even available really on the gray market so some of you watching this video here today are going to say i can't really find it fairly easily it's not even at fragrance net it's not at fragrance by ca it's not at notino it's not at max aroma it's not anywhere that i can easily find it you might be able to find it on ebay but it's still there's very few bottles uh, this is one for the connoisseur out there who's willing to wait on a bottle uh, for somebody who's willing to sell it for a fair price and sometimes these pop up here and there and there's still a few bottles hovering out out there and uh, my dad actually got this bottle for about 30 odd dollars a fair price and um, I can see why so many people spoke highly of this a couple years ago this was a cheapie that everybody is talking about back in the day I can remember with like Ben Cleef and Arpels Midnight in Paris uh, this is an Italian fragrance let's talk about instead of let's talking about the memory and the time period let's not talk about what this fragrance actually smells like so you get some amalfi lemon off the top this definitely has an, a, an italian citrusy feel there's lime uh you know lemon uh, and uh, it smells really italian off the top i'll, 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 do, I'll waste another spray um you know the citruses here don't last very long uh my, maybe only five or so minutes where i can actually smell that amalfi lemon but I have to say that surprisingly for a, a, a more affordable fragrance, when this used to be around for 30 odd dollars, this is actually smells really high quality on the top at least. Um, and it's a great fragrance overall, it really is. Um, you get some lavender, you get some clean white patchouli, that's some of the bigger DNA. Uh, some of that more transparent amber, there's definitely a, a fougere uh, vibe, a little bit of that, but also some of the 80s, some of that soapy confident uh, patchouli vibe as well in here. And both of that there's a uh, cyclamen and uh, some uh, you know some cinnamon i think is mixed in here a little bit of warmth as well there's a little bit of spice underneath it, it doesn't go overly spicy this fragrance could be considered uh if you put them side by side maybe a cousin to japer by boucheron uh but this one uh i didn't even say the name it's in the title maybe i'm afraid to say it um it's uh capucci um i don't i, I know i said that terribly um, it's Italian. Anyways, it's nice and it's a great fragrance. That's mostly what I can say. I think there was even some jasmine, if I remember, stuck up in there. I don't remember all the notes, but uh, this is a song to what even affordable fragrances could be back in the day. Uh, there's not so many fragrances that are clean like this, respectable, well balanced, fairly complex, um, and also pretty darn good. So I actually have it sprayed on my arm here. Um, I don't know I should have been buying up a bunch of bottles of this because this is great what else can I say about this fragrance uh, the performance wise I was getting about six hours or so out of this for um, how much citrus is in this one I'm actually looking to see if I can double check the, the concentration it's an EDT so for a more Italian citrusy fragrance for six odd hours that's actually not bad so um, I was hoping it would be stronger in EDP but it does its job I, I would say that this has maybe average projection, but the sillage is actually quite good. You can actually have a little bit of a trail where people can pick up and notice it when you walk by, or if you sit somewhere like in your office or somewhere, and uh, create a good bubble around you. So, respectable performance for what it is, especially for how affordable this fragrance used to be. Uh, what are some of the, what's the compliment factor? What are people saying about this fragrance? People were telling me uh, that this fragrance uh, was classy, refined, soapy, everything that I'm telling you. Uh, but also it uh, reminded them of maybe like a mafia boss, like Italian. Uh, because I talked about how Italian it was, like they could imagine somebody respectable, maybe the clerk, maybe the guy who deals with the papers uh, of the mafia side, maybe the, who, the guy who doesn't get his hands dirty, but uh, you know, mafia wise. Maybe, maybe that was just a joke we had, but uh, this fragrance here smells good and uh, they liked it. And they wish they could, some of them wish that they could get it for 30 odd dollars, but it's just not something that you can easily find so much anymore. Nice fragrance. Uh, getting into my final thoughts with the price. Again, you can wait. You can find a friend who's, or somebody who's not trying to price gouge or, 
or really take advantage of the market so much. Uh, there is Boise Luxura, which is not the same, uh, but that's by Armoff, which is supposedly similar to Fahrenheit Summer Edition. Um, and that one is somewhat similar to this. Um, and Aqua de Parma Colonia, of course, in that DNA, which is red uh, fairly readily available. And you can still find those for fair prices as well out there. Uh, those uh, the Aqua de Parmas might be even higher quality than this. But again, this has a little bit of that 80s vibe. You know, that, uh, that, that confidence and maybe a little bit of that, uh, some people might say masculinity. I don't even know what's acceptable these days, which you can say and what you can't say regarding that. Uh, but uh, this... Uh, you know, was a solid fragrance. And I guess I'm just giving a little bit of a quick ode to those. If you know of any other fragrances that have stuck under my radar, help me out. I might get my hands on them and be able to review them or tell some friends below. What are some other fragrances? I have reviewed, or at least I've talked about Saruti 1881. Um, and I've talked about, uh, I've mentioned Minotaur. I don't think I've actually reviewed it. And there's a few of these fragrances that out there they're hidden gems, uh, but they're a little bit more rugged, a little bit more confident, a little bit more old school to some. And uh, this was a great one. So um, check it out. Let me know how you feel about this fragrance down below. Let me know um, if you're looking for cheapies. Are these the kind of cheapies you're looking for? The ones that are hard to find? Ones that you're going to have to look under the bridge to possibly get a bottle? Or do you want ones that are still on the market but uh, still a good price? Let me know. Uh, do you bargain, do you hunt for the bargains or do you, uh, you know, go through the bargain bins? Let me, if you know what I'm saying. Either way, I mean, that's fine. I'm not putting down on either way. Uh, so let me know in the comment sections below. If you enjoy this video here today, let me know. Uh, also support this channel, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. And I upload Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for you. So make sure to come back. I always have new content for you. Uh, there's always something going on. So I'll see you soon, everybody. Enjoy your fragrances, enjoy life, and wear what you love. That's what this channel is all about, helping you find and explore those fragrances and maybe helping you find your next favorite fragrance. 10 out of 10, your masterpiece. Maybe I'll help you find it. So I'll see you soon, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe, live well, and enjoy the fragrance will come, the fragrance world. I'll see you soon, everybody. Have a good one, and bye.